We talked about innovation today and over the next 10 years what would be the major breakthroughs that would drive industry and I think one of the things we talked about was more for less, breaking the cost curve and how would industry bring new materials, automation, maybe commonality across platforms, open avionics to be able and drive the capability into platforms but drive the costs, hold the costs down. We also talked about globalization and what did we see in the trends again and kind of over the next 10 years. And I think we'll continue to see manufacturing overseas. We've got a great strategy, the government of the UAE here on where they want to go with aerospace manufacturing with space. Uh, you go over to India, they've got a make in India strategy. So I think you're going to continue to see manufacturing and tech transfer that will drive globalization uh, in the next 10 years. When you look at the UAE in particular, their national agenda, you know, the 2030 strategy really helps align government and industry. It also helps the global industry partners like Boeing be able to focus on priorities and not run down a rabbit trap but spend our investments in area that really pay off for the government and industry. So we're very happy to be a partner with Mubadala, with Tawazin, uh, here Emirates Airlines, Fly Dubai and Etihad. So I mean we have a, a great market here and we also have a, I think a great uh, industrial strategy with the government. So. Yeah, partnership I think globally is, is key. I think you're seeing it in the U.S. You're seeing many teams, large OEMs, team together to offer better products and services to the U.S. government. And I think you see that same trend here in the UAE, India, and globally where companies like Boeing need to team with local manufacturers, local technology companies to bring a better product to that government and to align with the national strategies. We're really happy to be one of the founding sponsors of that and I think Boeing feels very strongly about our relationship, our partnership with the UAE. We've got great airline partnerships, great GHQ partnership and so I think part of us supporting the Global Aerospace Summit is to really pay back to our partnership here, help try to drive a, what's called an industrial agenda where we can maybe pick one or two real issues and try to drive those issues to some kind of progress in the two years between the aerospace.